dog, shipwrecked on a desert island, all alone, no food, no nothing. She. You are not alone, senor dog. You got me. You? What good is a mouse to a duck? You might be useful to a cat, but ducks don't eat mice. But I'm company. Company? Humph. You can't even speak good English. I can run fast. Run? Big deal. Okay, run to the store and get me something to eat before I starve to death. Oh boy, stuck with a fast running kook. I've got to have food. We've just got to find a way to get something to eat. Don't just sit there. Do something. Okay. I help you, base. Am I, am I seeing things? It looks like it, it is. It's food. Sustenance. There's enough here to last indefinitely. There's ham, turkey, corned beef hash, potato salad, and all the frijoles. Now we have plenty to eat. We? What do you mean, we? This is mine. I found it. It belongs to me. Mine. Understand? Mine. Well, there is plenty for both of us. I'm little. I don't eat very much. How about one little piece of cheese? No. No cheese. It's mine. Go find your own food. This is survival of the fittest, and I'm the fittest. Go oh, scram, mouse. Just one little crumb? No! <laughs> it's all in cans. Well, all I need is a can opener. Now, let's see, can opener. Uh, where do I find a can opener? Oh, senor Doc, is this what you are looking for? A can opener. Yes, yeah, yeah, let me have it. Quick, quick, give it to me. Not so fast! First, we make a deal. Deal? What kind of a deal? You give me some of the food, I give you the can opener, okay? No deal. I'll open the cans myself. Huh. I never thought such a selfish mouse. I wonder how prehistoric man used to open cans. Hey, Senor Doc, you want to talk? No, I don't want to talk. I will. What's this? An axe! Oh boy, how lucky can I get? <laughs> Don't you think you better reconsider? <laughs> you dirty little rodent! Give me that opener! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! that mouse anyway. There's one of Father Neptune's natural-born can openers. All you have to do is use your head a little. Ahoy there, you sea-going stiletto! Look alive! Hit the old can and win a cigar! Let's see how good you are! I can almost savor the succulent goodness now. to sit down to a good meal. Now I can't even sit down. Oh, pardon me, Senor Duck. Here is the can openers. It was selfish for me to keep him. Well, it's about time. But don't think this changes my mind about sharing the food. You still get nothing. N-U-E-T-H-Y-O-N. Nothing. See, I understand. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, where are those groceries? Oh, yes. I left them on that big rock by the lagoon. Oh, no. The tide came in. I guess a little water won't hurt me. Hm. After all, I am a duck. <laughs> First food and <laughs> no can opener. 
than a can opener. <laughs> and no... <laughs> hey, Senor Robinson Crusoe, it's nice of you to take me out to dinner. Delighted to have your company, sir. I always dine at Fridays on Saturday night. Left! Food! <laughs> starving. Maybe we could sneak in and get some. Oh, Jose, you must be loco in la cabeza. You know this rancho belonged to Don Tefi de la Scrooge del Minio Tortura de la Quack. Junior, he hates poor people. <laughs> so, interlopers, upon my vast and abundant rancho, I've told you peons a thousand times not to starve on my property. It lowers the value. Please accept our humblest apology, Senor El Grande. We had no wish to offend. Speak when you're spoken to! <laughs> Such impudence. You force me to declare war on poverty. Prepare to defend yourselves. If my cousin Speedy Gonzalez was here... I'll make the smart cracks around here. And don't give me that Speedy Gonzalez stuff. He's just a myth. Your dogs? All right, you little squirt. Make me lose faith, will you? I demand the satisfaction of a duel. A duels? I never fight a duels before. How you do it? In the grand manner, amigo. No second-rate stuff like puny pistolas. The grand manner. brims when you fight a war. Plan lots of top secret strategies. Aha! So the little scum is scheming. I'll just take a peek over his shoulder. Hey, it's no fair to spy. That's cheating. Uh, ow! Oh, 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 I'm gonna get you for that. That's just gonna double the agony. Holy free holes. Senor. Cannonballs are very expensive. They shouldn't be wasted. Hey, Rodent! Here's one across your bow! But that's not fair! I got no cannonballs! <laughs> he hasn't got any cannonballs. <laughs> well, now, isn't that a pity? Don't worry, little chum! I've got plenty of them! I'll keep sending them over to you! <laughs> I come to borrow cannonball. Oh, sure, sure. I can let you have one. Right in the kisser! Gracias. I return it to you pretty soon. Come back with my cannonball! Come back! Come back! You hear? Open up! Open up! Give me back my cannonball! Okay, Indian giver. You change your mind. Gracias. You're not welcome. There. I've mined the entire area, and only I know where they are. That makes two of us. 
to be back that short. How am I going to get back? I won't know where the mines are. That's okay. I tell you where they are. Y y y you promise? Crossing my heart. I tell you. Well, okay. There's one. There's another one there. That's one too. That's where another one is. What do you mean you don't know where they are? You haven't missed one yet. Ah, oh, shut up. Hey, Senor Ducks, I'm giving up. So, you've had enough, eh? See, I'm tired from all these war games. I go home and eat some supper. Besides, it looked like rain. Yeehaw! How about that? I won the war. Usually, I come out of these things getting the worst of it. I think I'll give myself a 21-gun salute for the victory. 18, 19, 20, 21! faced with a crisis. The only trophy that we do not have in our collection is Speedy Gonzales. Therefore, the club will offer a lifetime membership to whomever bags that rodent. But, sir, anyone who goes after Speedy Gonzales would have to be a stupid, idiotic, foolhardy ignoramus. You called? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Daffy Duck, Hunter Extraordinary. I'll bag that Speedy Gonzales. I'll annihilate him unmercifully. Uh, by the way, pal, uh, what is a Speedy Gonzales? This is a Speedy Gonzales. A mere mouse? Oh, surely you jest. But he is the fastest mouse in all Mexico. Fast? Fast? I'll show you what fast is. <laughs> Not bad without a tailwind. Now to business. Aha! There's my quarry! This is going to be too easy! <laughs> hey, amigos! It's another one of those local hunters! Uh, step outside, Speedy Gonzales. I want to show you something. What is it you want to show me, Senor Doc? <laughs> me ain't got too much brains. Look into the telescope and see the pretty girl. A pretty girl? Ole Tolero, what a dish! Ole, que bonita senorita! <laughs> epa, epa. Just a darn minute, sir. Let me take a look. Hmm. I don't see nothing. Allow me to throw the switch for you, senor. You have made a fatal mistake, vermin. Evidently, that rodent doesn't realize he's pitted against superior intelligence. Nobody escapes the famous Daffy Duck hunting snare. First, a little cheese for bait. Then a dash of hot sauce to make it absolutely irresistible. Speedy, come back. It's a trap. Gotcha. Hey, what's wrong with this thing? Come on, you stupid snare. Function, 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 function. I can't understand it. to try a more subtle approach. This little decoy never fails. Nieces find it irresistible. It's filled with TNT, and in 20 seconds, blowy! Go get him, sweetheart! Mira, mira, que bonita. Oh, I guess I'm not her type. 
Hey, you're supposed to be attracted to mice. <laughs> Goodbye, mouth. He loves me. Let go. This would never work out. It's all over between us. Farewell forever. That was a very explosive love affair. Hey, Speedy, do you think he has had enough? I don't know, but I think we are finally getting that duck's goat. <laughs> Let's see now. What's in my everything for a hunting trip kit? Mm, can of worms, or trading stamps. Ah, oh, yes, Plan X. I love Plan X. It's so <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> First, I take a giant enchilada and wrap myself in it. <laughs> then when those Mises come out to eat the enchilada, I grab them. Hey, amigos, it's a giant enchilada. It looks delicious. <laughs> They're falling for Plan X. I never saw an enchilada with duck feathers. Perhaps it needs a little hot sauce. See, see, hot sauce. Hey, let's get hot in here. Let me out of here. Water. Water. You made me lose my temper. Now I have no choice but massive retaliation. Think they fast, huh? Well, let's see that runty rodent outrun a jet-powered duck. Holy frijoles. It looks like that local duck has flipped his cabeza. Andere, andere, diva! that lifetime membership, Buster. With Speedy Gonzalez around, life would be too short to enjoy it anyway. Find water. My throat is so dry. It's no use, Speedy. I am too thirsty to go on. Me too. Never in my life have I been so thirsty. We wouldn't have been here if you hadn't taken a wrong turn in Guadalajara. So, one little mistake. Please, amigos, don't give up yet. Hey, look! A canteen! We are safe. The canteen full of water. Me first. Me first. Awa, awa, awa. Hey, Pedro, save some for me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pedro, Jose, look, look, we are rescued. Holy free holies. It's an oasis. And with a water well, now we can drink. <laughs> Amigos, there's enough for all of us. All right, you rodents, scram! This water's reserved for me and my camel. Excuse us, Senor Arab Doc. We are dying of thirst. Surely one insignificant drop of water could not hurt. See, just one insignificant drop to save our lives. No, that's one insignificant drop too much. Boy, that gives me such a headache. Just look at that. All that nice, cool water. Ay, Chihuahua. Now they are taking you a shower bath. Oh, I cannot bear to watch. Caramba. He is even watering the trees. Don't worry, amigos. I have it a plan. Bueno, Speedy has it a plan. 
<laughs> now we fix the dirty duck. I will get the local duck to chase me. Then you can get the water from the well. That is a very good plan, Speedy. See, especially the drinking part. <laughs> realize the futility of it all. They met their nemesis. <laughs> he got it, he got it. Okay, amigos, get your cups. Ah, here it comes. Here comes the water. Quick, hold out your cups. <laughs> Guess who, sports? <laughs> there, that's all the water we need. And we're not leaving any for those dirty rodents. All the toleros. Ah, he is going to blow up the well. Well, what we gonna do? We gonna die of thirst. That's what we gonna do. Giddy up, camel. <laughs> Bombs away! Are you stuck? Oh, never have I had so much water. It's fun having our own well. Water, water, we're dying of thirst. We've just got to have a drink of water. But of course, Senor Duck, here's plenty of water. <laughs> There's only one thing worse than a smart mouse, and that's three smart mice. I think you're the right one for the job. Just keep those kids away from my chocolate Easter bunnies. Don't worry. They don't call me Super Sleuth Duck for nothing. Thanks. I love symbols of authority. Senor Mayor, behold how sad the children are. They will have no chocolate bunnies in their Easter baskets. I will see what I can do. Senor Guard, we are very poor, and it is Easter, and the children have no chocolate Easter bunnies. Well, that's their tough luck. We have pesos. We can pay. It's not enough, but I'll take this, and when you get more, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Which will be nothing. Now scram, Buster! You gave 
gave him all our money. Now we have nothing. We can pay the duck later. What we need now is a volunteer to bring us the chocolate bunnies. My cousin, Speedy Gonzalez, he can help us. He is the fastest mouse in all Mexico. Well, don't stand there. Go get him. See? Buenos dias, senor mayor. How can I be of service? That duck took our money, but he didn't give us our chocolate Easter bunnies. I will get them for you. Here I come, senor duck, to get the chocolate bunnies for the niños. Oh, yeah? Well, you gotta get by me first. <laughs> My complimentos. Gracias, señor Speedy. For nada. Oh, it's nothing. Bring me one. Bring me one, too. Hey, Speedy, get one for me. I bring everybody one. Gracias, Senor Speedy. This time that revved up rodent is in for a big surprise. again, but this time, I'm ready for him. Uno, dos, tres, ready or not, here I come. This is the end of the line, mouse. in the festivities. Being dipped in chocolate has sweetened his disposition, I think.
thing. This racket is for the birds. There must be something better. Hey, what's that? Help wanted, gunslinger. Must be able to hit small, moving target. $15 a week. Mayor Fur E. Cat. 15 bucks a week? Boy, that's real dough! Mayor Cat, my name is Featherfinger. Have gun, will sling. I understand you want some hombre, shall we say, uh, done away with? Oh, at last, at last! It's been terrible. All day, all night, zoom, zoom, andale, zoom. Oh, I can never catch him. You gotta help me, please, please. Please, you're spattering my uniform. Say, uh, just who is it that's got you so unstrung? It's Speedy Gonzalez, the fastest mouse in all Mexico. You're hiring me to get rid of a mouse? <laughs> it is to laugh. <laughs> now, now, please, don't laugh at me. I can't catch that speed demon. Oh, it's embarrassing. Please help me, please, please. Oh, very well. I'll take the job. You will? Oh, thank you, thank you, gracias. Fortunately, we gunslingers are above such tawdry displays of emotion. And besides, 15 bucks is 15 bucks. I'll just wait here for the little sneak. Meanwhile, I'll practice my gunslinging. Yippee-yay, okay. Hmm, I guess I need more practice. Hey, loco doc, what's all the noise about? You interrupt my siesta, senor. Senor? Say, that foreign accent sounds suspicious. <laughs> I think I found my target. Say, are you Speedy Gonzalez? Si, from south of the border. Down Mexico way? Si. Well, my job is to bring you back, dead or alive. So let's see you outrun this. Now draw. Hey, he's gone. Oh, suffering six shooters. I must have blown him to smithereens. I put your bullet back, senor. Gee, I could get killed this way. He's obviously too smart for the frontal attack, so with a clever disguise, as a compadre, I'll gain his confidence and corner him. Buenos dias, senor. Have you seen a duck disguised as one of our countrymen? Like this mouth? Gee. I hate you. This should dispose of a little rat sink. Hola, señor loco doc. ¿Cómo se va? Oh, well, glad you came in. Let me buy you a drink. Here. Gracias, señor doc. But, but... This is getting monotonous. If you can't think better, think bigger, I always say. This will make me the big cheese around here. <laughs> Holy frijoles, look at that. It's a giant family size. I will take it home to Mexico pronto. Mexico? But I don't want to go to Mexico. Oh, I'll just sneak out. He'll never know the difference. Ooh, he's despicable. Caramba, that's the biggest popcorn I ever seen. I think I'll go home and get my camera and take a picture of it. You need some help, senor doc? No, I don't need any help, senor mouse. Gotcha. All right, Mayor. Here's your mouse. Now pay me my 15 bucks. Well done, my friend. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, that was $15 a week, which is uh, 37 and a half cents an hour times one and a half hours equals 56 and a quarter cents. There's 56 and a quarter cents. Now get off my property. No tip. <laughs> <laughs> Cheapskate cat. I only have one thing to say. Um, don't 
donations, charity, anything. It's the living. some wood for a fire, I will freeze to death. Hey, maybe I could borrow some wood from my neighbor down there. He must have plenty. Yes? Huh? A mouse? What do you want? Excuse me, Senor Doc. I live up there on the mountain. I have no wood. Could I borrow some to make a fire so I do not freeze to death? Don't be silly. Rodney should freeze to death. Well, what now? Maybe just one little piece of wood? Wait right there. I guess it does not pay to be too greedy. Here's something for you, mouse. I must get some wood or I will freeze. Maybe I can catch him by surprise. I'll move all the wood inside before that little sneak carries it off. <laughs> Just let him try that again. I'll fix his little red wagon. I have a feeling that the local dog does not want to be neighborly, but I must have more wood. There must be another way in. Aha! Uh -huh. Ha! Just as I suspected. Oh, what a miserable mouth. Open the door, or I will break it down. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> I never saw such a stupid mouth. Huh? He just won't quit. I say, stupid dog. No más por eso no te voy a dar esta carta. Adios. I guess that silly rodent decided to freeze. I haven't heard a peep out of him for some time now. Hmm, very clever for a stupid mouse. Greetings, mouse. Thanks for the sleigh ride. <laughs> Help! This is getting monotonous. Local duck is putting some wood outside his hacienda. Maybe he is sorry he has been so mean to me. Here I come. Andale! Arriba! Vámonos! Arriba! Arriba! Andale! <laughs> Holy Toledos! That was close. Go ahead, little compadre. Help yourself to the wood. Gracias, señor duck. Gracias. Hey, this wood is made of ice. Chocolate covered, to be precise. <laughs> Ow! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, no, you don't. Come back with my wood. <laughs> what a revolting development. Caught in my own trap. Oh, señor duck. I have the present for you. Go away. I don't want anything from you. Scram. You will be sorry. Oh, I just can't stand it. I just gotta see what it is. <laughs> what do you know? A jolly red giant. What else is new besides ho, ho? I 
got all the wood I need. Now I can play for a while. That miserable mouse has taken almost all my wood, and he's not getting away with it. I'll show him he can't make a fool out of me. Uh-oh, looks like I'm going to have company. I better clean up the house. Oh, how clumsy of me. There's nothing better in the winter time than to be in your own house by a cozy warm fire. Now who could that be? Could you put a fellow mouse up for the night? I could pay for my lodging with this cheese. But of course, come in, come in and warm yourself by the fire. I always say, if you can't beat them, join them. Señor Scarecrow, don't look so mean. I know steal your corn. I am the honest crow, see? I'm sitting in your fence, slowly starving to death. But still, I do touch your corn. Yeah, yeah. Arriba, 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 andre, andre, epa, epa, yeah. Arriba, arriba, andre, epa, yeah, yeah. Hey, my old amigo crow. What are you doing looking so sad? I thought when I sent you from the gringo gato in Guadalajara, you would go straight and not steal corns anymore. But I'm not stealing. I'm starving. Oh, well, in that case, you can take one little corn. No, amigo, I cannot. See the scarecrow? I am a crow, and he scares me. Don't be such a fretty gato. See, he is full of nothing but straw. Watch this. I can touch the corn, and nothing happens. I can kiss the corn, and nothing happens. I can even pick the corn, and nothing... And stay out! Huh. I thought someone would get sneaky around here. See? Now you know why we all afraid of this scarecrow. Better to slowly starve to death than to go like that. Why you worry, amigo? We get rid of this scary crow duck and the corns will be ours. You must be out of your mind! But I hope you're right. Hey, look, duck! I am back in your cornfield. Why you no stop me? You know the Speedy Gonzalez? He's slow in la cabeza, but he is fast. Look, Crow, he is gone. Come on, the corn, she's ours. Never has anyone such a good friend. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Por nada. Amigo, see the corn? Come on, we help ourselves. <laughs> Stop right in your tracks, you dirty sneak thieves. <laughs> the troubles. will work, Speedy? It never fails, amigo. We just dive down, grab it some corn, and zoom back up in the air. We can't miss. I hope you're right for once. Here we go. Geronimo! Very funny. That dirty dog playing the iron corns. He'd almost bash our brains out. That's not all I planted, you dirty corn thieves. You know, Speedy, mi amigo, I will give anything for just one little taste of this corn. Hey, rodents, come here. You calling me, loco duck? Yeah, get rid of that crow, and I'll give you all the delicious corn you can eat. You must be kidding, duck. That crow is my best friend. Forget it. Sure, sure, if you say so. Hey, crow, come here. Did you call my name, senor? 
Yeah, get rid of that rodent, and I'll give you all the delicious corn you can eat. Oh, gracias, señor dog. No sooner said than done. Mm -hmm. You must forgive me, my friend, but I must dispose of you. It's all right. I understand. Adios, amigo. You was a good friend. Stop your talking. Put your head down on the chopping block. I must hurry, or the nice dog might change his mind. Okay, I am ready, amigo. How's this? Something is wrong. I can I do it? Oh, for Pete's sake. Stand back, stupid. I'll fix this rodent. Holy duck. Speedy is my friend. If anybody disposes of him, it must be me. Oh, come on. I'll give you that whole field of corn if you let me shoot him. You talk me into it, senor. It's all yours. Holy duck, can you read the signs? Huh. No trespassing. This means you, you dirty duck. See, si, why you not go away, duck? Holy stranger. Stranger? See, si, you two are trespassing on my cornfields. Now go on over to the other side of the fence and get shot like a good little rodent. What else could I do? There's barely enough corn for me and my old age. And that's true, compañero. Yeah, that's true. 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 The friends like the local pro. Who needs enemies? Mucho locos.
ratón muy listo. Eh, bien. ¿Cómo me gusta esta televisión imaginaria sin comerciales? Ahora imaginemos otra sobre el pato bobo. Muy bien, imaginemos que estamos en Inglaterra en la época de Sherlock Holmes. El detective más famoso del mundo. Tal vez haya caído, pero acabó el juego. Al fin, ¿no es así? ¿Dónde estabas la noche de...? Bien, queda eliminado como sospechoso. El pato volvió a ser bobo de nuevo. ¡Sí! <ríe> ¡Es un gran tonto! Oye, cambia el canal al ratón listo. ¡Me hace sentir bien! ¡Ajá! Hay muchos relatos sobre ratones listos. ¡Oh, sí! Hubo una vez cuando esos dos gatos trataron de atrapar a un ratón listo. ¡Silencio, silencio! ¡Se va a oír! ¡Ven para acá! En Butter Boom. Se acabó el señor González. No, 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 es hora de que te vayas a casa, tu madre debe estar preocupada. Esta vez iremos a Hong Kong donde el pato se topa con la mujer dragón. Vaya, ¿y quién eres, mi hermosa y preciosa flor de loto? ¡Wow! Yo, mujer dragón. ¿Y por qué habían de llamarte mujer dragón? ¡Ay! ¿Eso contesta y pregunta? Sí, muy cierto. Pregunta contestada. ¿Ves qué bobo es el pato y qué listos son los ratones? Sí, pero no me hablaste del pato nuevo en la televisión. ¿De qué pato estás hablando? Ah, toma ratón listo, soy un pato verdadero. Ahora, ¿quién es el listo, eh? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué te sucedió, Speedy? Creo que me voy a casa. Esta televisión imaginaria da muchos dolores de cabeza, chihuahua. Se vio tan real. ¡Qué grande es la imaginación!